Okay, let's clean up a few things in the code, and then we'll try to style this page so that it shows the hand in one line. So first the code. Um, I forgot to use my, uh, my hand cards here. There's no point in making a constant if you're not going to use it. And while I'm at it, I'm going to be using 13 and 4 all over the place as well. So I should make constants for those. So I'm going to go to poker constants. And let's go ahead and add rank count is 13. And suit count is 4. And then let's just go ahead and use those here. Rank count. And suit count. So obviously there's not a lot of difference in terms of the code, but if somebody's looking at this, it's going to make a little more sense to them than possibly just having the number four there. And then I said I was going to show you how to get around this bug warning if you want to. You can just create a variable like ranks and set it to rank names. And then ranks. And same thing with suits. Suits. So it works exactly the same, maybe a little less efficient, but it does avoid that error until they fix PHP Storm. So now let's go ahead and try to style this thing a little more. And I'm going to need to have this be a class because there's going to be five of these. So you don't want to use an ID for that. And then I'm also going to create a class for a card image. So I can put some style information on that. And then let's go ahead and style the hand and the card and card image. So let's start with the card. And that's a class. And I'm going to make the max width here be the number of cards a hundred divided by that and we're going to echo that and then put a percent sign so since there's five cards, this is going to turn into 20%. But if we ever did want to put in seven cards, it would still work. And then the max height is going to be 100%. So basically, there's going to be five cards side by side. And to make that happen, I'm going to make this div box be inline. So display is inline block. And then for the card image, this is going to be inside of this div box and I want to leave a little bit of space around it and I want that space to be proportional to the size of the card. So I'm going to put max width here is going to be a constant. card image percent. And we'll do the same thing for the height so that we get padding all the way around. And then I'm going to define that constant here. So let's go ahead and add some style information. And I'm going to make this 95%. Since it's a constant, it's really easy to change later on. And let's go ahead and reload and see if that made a, made a difference. So not quite. 
So let's go ahead and look at the HTML. And then look at the CSS. Oh, so I forgot the PHP island for card image. And I'm just going to copy and paste that. There we go. So now that should work. Let's go ahead and reload. Okay, so almost there. Now, the reason that even though each one of these is 20%, it actually ends up being a little bit wider than the width of the screen. And the reason is because there's some white space between the cards. If you view the page source, see there's white space between these divs. And uh, that basically messes everything up. And there's a couple of ways to fix this. One way to fix it is to get rid of all this white space and just jam the tags together. But then you can't look at the HTML. So what I'm going to do is a little bit of a cheat, but it works fine here because I'm just displaying images. I'm going to add on my hand ID font size 0 px. So basically white space is going to take up 0 pixels. And it works. And so if I scale that, it scales the cards. That's pretty cool. So now the other thing I want to do is leave some padding around the hand. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and make a constant for that, too, so I can adjust that. Let's start with uh, 6 pixels. See how that looks. And then here... Let's go ahead and add some, let's go ahead and add the padding to the whole hand. And reload. Okay, that's not bad. If I want to play around with that, I can also go F12 and go to the hand and try changing this number. So let's try eight. I think I like eight. So I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with eight. Great. And every time I hit reload, I get a new hand. It's kind of interesting. So now what I want to do is I want to actually center this vertically as well. And uh, that's going to take some JavaScript. But what I'm going to do in addition is I'm going to put all of this whole thing inside of a content div. Because underneath here I'm going to have the button that takes you to the draw page. And on the draw page I'm going to have a piece of text that displays what your hand is and the payoff. And so I want to have all of that content be inside of one div and then center that div vertically on the page. So let's go ahead and in the code I'm going to create a show content function and this is going to echo div id is content and then it's going to call show hand that's all it'll do for now and then it'll close the div off And since this is now going to be inside of a div, I'm going to go ahead and 
add that. Let's go ahead and reload and make sure the page source still looks good. Oh, I haven't actually changed anything, so let's call show content now. Great, so it still works. Let's view the page source. Everything looks properly formatted.